Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do cage assembly. This is a quick takedown cage on the Green Eagle. So as you see, this is how I normally store the Green Eagle. I pop the cage apart, which takes very little time. And I'm 240 pounds and I can do chin-ups on this cage and that's before I put the, pin, the pins in it. So it's a really strong cage. This is your Green Eagle without the cage. Now you can start your Green Eagle without a prop. So if you're storing it in your garage, it takes up 27 inches of width once you pull the axles off and once you pull the propellers off. Either if you get this propeller or an Standard upgraded propeller. Standard Green Eagle powered paraglider which is most commonly sold. And I'm going to show you how to basically take your cage assembly together, take it apart and put it together within a matter of a minute. It takes up 27 inches of width once everything is folded down. And then you can take your prop off so it stores in a nice tight area once you pull the axles off. So here's what I normally do. One, the first thing I normally do is I go for the lower sections. Before I do, I'll pull the quick disconnect pins. Bring the lower section down, match it in the quick pin hole. There you go. And the second one. It's nasty and wet out here. Now you can use different aircraft, you can actually get aircraft quick disconnect pins that are quarter inch. They are expensive, but they're very strong. Now after I get the lower section, all I do is I move the prop, and along with the prop, then I can move my side supports. Remember when you're putting the kits together, the side supports are the only piece that doesn't have a right or a left side. It doesn't matter which side you do. So move the prop. Good. Now we're going to start with the overhead piece. A little bit of white lithium grease will go a long way on these. If not, it's going to be really hard to put in. So you, you're going to notice when you put these together, you have two support, upper support pieces that are milled aluminum. There's no plastic. Now, a lot of people, what they do is when they store these, they'll take this and put it like this when they're storing it. And then when you go flying, you slide it in. Now, one of them is a little taller than the other one. The reason that is, is it's easier for you to get your angle going, get it started. Oh, there it goes. So, nice and tight. A little bit of grease will help. When they're brand new, they're, they're going to be tight. You might even consider a rubber mallet. Now, obviously, your line protectors are going to be your upper section. What I normally like to do is I like to mark the right side with a little piece of red tape. So that way, before I assemble or when I take apart, I know that this is the right side lower, that's the right side upper. And I like to stick my prop guard stickers on the lower section because that's where people see it when they come up to you. So it's easier for you to assemble your craft. So this will be the left side. What I do is I start with the bottom section first. Put it in here. And now these are tight, especially when they're new. So you're gonna have to, gonna have to work it a little bit. But once you get it together, you take this industrial Velcro, you wrap it around, And you go. Now if you have a, a situation or a problem where you can't get it nice and flush, you can bring a tool in together because when they're new they're real tight. You can go get these little quick grips, they're rubber, and they'll just tighten up. It makes your job really, really simple. Now after you've taken the craft apart, put it back together a few times, you won't need this anymore. But when they're new, it's a good chance that you'll need it. Lift up your side support, get your velcro out of the way. goes in nice and tight. Now let's do our upper for our wing. You can just get it started or you can leave it loose. Then you move to the upper section here. And this is where I'll use these little Irwins. Quick grip. See? It makes quick work. Of this is a brand new Eagle. nice and tight. So we're going to run our Velcro around it. There we go. We got this section done. Now we'll work on the top section. Now what happens is when I put this together, I don't have these pins in yet, the quick disconnect pins. So sometimes this will shift a little bit. When it does, it makes it out of round where it won't seat. So you have to work it. 
there it goes. Let's pop that on. Now we're ready for our other lower section. Like I said, I put the prop guard stickers or the prop warning stickers on the bottom. This cage gives you full prop protection. Inside, you can lay it completely on its back and you'll see photos of that later on. And of course, you'll see lots of people hanging on it because they, all they're curious to see if they can do it. All right. Again, you don't have to bang on it. You can use those little rubber grips. They're often found like in the wood department for clamping wood together. Welders are using them a lot as well. And most of the time I can get them on there without even using the clamp. There we go. Now a lot of people will leave their cage together most of the time. But, you know, it's nice to have it where it breaks down that small. Now this cage is designed so that you can run a 66 inch IVO and have an inch and a half inch clearance. So that's a lot of thrust, way more than what you're going to need, especially if you go to our Ultra engines. So this is the standard prop, and I'm 240, and I can fly a Paratoise 30, a Needham 330, a Prima. You know, we're not talking about super high lift wings, except for, of course, the, the Macrera products. So outside of that, I'm going to show you how strong it is. Now, I haven't put the pins in. I'm going to make sure everything is tight. And we're going to lift my body weight of 240 pounds on the cage. Here we go. And the craft is so well balanced, it doesn't want to pitch back on me. So again, for those of you who didn't see, put all my weight on it. Here we go. So most cages you can't do that on. That was no bolts anywhere and I didn't even put the pins in yet. So you could fly without the pins, there's no way it's going to come four inches up, but it's a safety feature to have the pins in. So there you go, that's your quick, you know, that's your assembly and takedown. It's just the opposite. So we're ready to go fly.